Hey guys, Blazin here. Now before this, uh, Jim, you're facing the wrong way. There you go. Now before this video begins, there's a couple things I'd like to address. One, when playing against an elite in this game, elites have a special trait to assist them aim their weapons with slow projectile velocities. That's the spinning reticle within the standard one. This includes weapons like the plasma pistol, which I'll be going over today, the plasma repeater, the needler, plasma launcher, concussion rifle, fuel rod gun, and plasma turret. Isn't that right, Jim? He doesn't talk much. Another thing to note is that Jim here is still going to remain a Spartan model as our target. I have crippling depression. This is because Halo Reach has some gameplay differences between Spartans and Elites. See, Spartans in this game are about 10% weaker and move almost 10% slower than Elites. Since Elites aren't seen too often when playing matchmaking, it's not worth having an Elite target. And that's all I wanted to address, so Jim, let's start the video. Jim? Jim, where'd you go? Oh my god, Jim, get off the tank! Jim? Yeah! Hey guys, Blazin here. Welcome to my analysis on the T25 DEP. The T25 DEP, which stands for Type 25 Directed Energy Pistol, is a Covenant Infantry Firearm, carried commonly by smaller species such as Grunts, Jackals, and Jerones. The T25 DEP is a Covenant Directed Energy Weapon that was reverse engineered from a Forerunner device. The weapon is powered by a battery cell. The T25 DEP is a semi-automatic weapon using a single collimator design that gives the weapon its smooth and aerodynamic claw-like appearance. The T25 DEP has two modes of fire, semi-automatic direct and semi-guided area of effect, also known as overcharge. When rapidly tapping the trigger, the T25 DEP will fire small bolts of plasma. These bolts deal little damage to targets protected by energy shields, though still more than most ballistic weapons. The semi-auto firing mode can be used until the weapon overheats after which it must cool down for a few seconds before it can be used again. As the weapon approaches low battery, it may sputter and fail to fire. If the T25 DEP's trigger is held for a few seconds, the plasma at the tip will gather into a large spherical mass. Releasing the trigger will fire a single bolt of larger size than usual. This bolt, if aimed correctly, will track its target for a short distance if they attempt to dodge. The overcharged bolt creates an electromagnetic pulse, stunning most electronics. If the target is protected by energy shields, all but the strongest shields will break, allowing their body to take damage. If the overcharge strikes a vehicle, it will be temporarily disabled and rendered helpless for several seconds. As such, even the weakest Covenant infantry can thwart an assaulting Spartan or vehicle, forcing their foe to retreat or creating an opening for their allies. However, after the overcharge bolt is fired, the pistol will automatically overheat. Until it cools down, the pistol cannot be fired in this mode, giving an opposing target enough time to counterattack. Using the overcharge frequently will also drain the battery faster than usual. A few notable features of this gun are the red button located at the rear. This acts as a safety for this weapon. What this button does is turn the gun on or off. If it's on, there will be a holographic circle surrounding the red button, which acts as the weapon's heat meter. There's also another red button located on the left side, which opens a hatch at the top, which allows access to the weapon's internal components. One more thing I'd like to point out is that I think the way how to fire this weapon is this pad located at the rear. As you can see, this small pad slightly sticks out compared to the rest of the grip. So you squeeze the grip in order to fire the gun? This is just a theory from me, but I mean, how else do you fire this gun when there is no traditional trigger? I would also like to quickly mention that this weapon has no sights. 
Just an extra battery indicator at the top. Now about this gun's ammo capacity. Uh, well, it runs off a battery so it doesn't need to reload. So in order to get this gun's ammo capacity, so to speak, I thought, why not shoot as fast as possible before this gun overheats? In which case, I got about 23 shots out before it overheated. I was also able to get 7 charge shots out on a full battery. As far as the reserve ammo goes, well, the battery can hold up to about 100% energy capacity, and each shot takes about 1%, whereas the overcharge shot takes about 15% of the battery. The fire rate I got was around 430 rounds per minute. The reload speed, well, in this case, the cooldown speed was around 2 seconds, and that goes for both the peace shot and the overcharge shot. Max effective range I got was about 30.6 meters. The damage output of this gun is 3 shots to break shields and 7 more shots to health, totaling a 10 shot kill. Although I have to admit, killing with this weapon is not recommended, for two reasons. One, there is a slight bit of spread when rapid firing this weapon, and two, the projectiles travel way too slow. First strike! Now as far as the overcharge shot goes, it takes one shot to break shields and three shots to health, totaling a four shot kill. But again, much like I said before, not recommended, projectile travels way too slow, and the rate of fire is also way too slow. The TTK of this weapon, if you don't miss a shot, is about 1.05 seconds. First strike. One last thing to mention about the charge up shot is that it actually has a blast radius. The blast radius is about 2.5 meters or less. Alright, that's it for this weapon analysis. To be honest, this weapon isn't terrible, but there is a skill gap to use it. I find using the charge up shot to be useful at point blank range for a melee kill, and using the peace shots at mid range. As far as changes I would make to this gun, I would remove the small amount of spread that's on the weapon. The gun already has a slow projectile velocity to compensate. Well, that's gonna be it for me. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. And if you enjoy the content on this channel, consider subscribing. You can also find my links down in the description. And until next time, Merry Christmas, motherfuckers.